Today I'm gonna be show you the making of dibenzyl acetone which is the active ingredient of many type of sunscreen. All you need is acetone, benzaldehyde, sodium hydroxide and some ethanol. About 1 ml of acetone is added in this test tube. Then 3 or 4 ml of ethanol is added on top of the acetone. This solution is transferred in a beaker. Then I add about 2 ml of benzaldehyde. Then concentrated NaOH is added dropwise in this solution. After adding the NaOH, I have to close the Erlenmeyer flask. And now let me discuss the mechanism of the following reaction. In the first step, one of those acidic or alpha hydrogen of acetone reacts with the OH- from NaOH. This leads to the formation of negative charge on carbon which can attack carbonyl or benzaldehyde. The negative charge that forms on oxygen pulls a hydrogen from water and OH- is regenerated. Then another OH deprotonates the intermediate which generates a negative charge. The electrons move to form a double bond and the OH is kicked off. This regenerates OH minus benzyl acetone is formed in this step. These steps will then repeat it on benzyl acetone to form dibenzyl acetone as our final product. NaOH is regenerated at the end. This is a base catalyzed reaction. The major product is trans trans isomer of dibenzyl acetone. The rubber stopper is removed after 10 or 15 minutes. Then the mixture is transferred in a 250 ml beaker and some water is added to precipitate more dibenzyl acetone from the solution. Then it is filtered and the final product is dried. This is our final product dibenzyl acetone with a beautiful yellow color. My final yield is about 2.15 grams which is not bad. A small amount of the product is dissolved in ethanol to recrystallize. Ethanol dibenzyl acetone mixture is heated and cooled down to form the crystals. And this is the final and pure dibenzyl acetone. Hope you have enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye bye.